Hello guys and welcome to episode 4... Is it 47? I keep saying it wrong. Yes, it is. Hello guys and welcome to episode 47 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. This time it really is number 47. I said it wrong last week, but never mind. In this video, I'm gonna try to do the impossible. I'm gonna, in 10 minutes, create a perfect topology car with all the quads and I'm gonna nail it. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Well, I've done a lot of low poly cars before, but I really wanted to find a way to, to model cars quickly and keep that perfect topology. And I've never really been a fan uh, where you have to actually model like the side or, or splines, connect them all together and try to keep that quad topology. And I've always heard that you shouldn't use a box method to model cars. And I've actually always thought myself, I can't really create a nice looking car with a box modeling. But I've spent a bit of time now and I've thought of how it must be possible. And I think I've found a method to do it. So make sure you stick around now for this video and uh, look at it to the end because we're gonna do the modeling and then I'm gonna show you the bonus material as well, how you can actually work from that model now and uh, start using uh, probably proportional editing to get it uh, into doing some crazy stuff. So make sure you watch to the end now, you've heard me. Check this out as well. It's a book, it's the sound of Star Wars. Check this out. Sound 125, it's the ray gun or the laser, laser you in Swedish, of Boba Fett, the bounty hunter. This whole book is full of cool stories, how they record those sound effects. And you might be surprised that everything that you hear in a film is fake. For example, take uh, Gladiator. You see a horse riding in, you think that that's uh, the sound of a real horse? No, no, no. Obviously you've got the coconut thing going on with a, with a, well, doesn't sound like that now, but the sword that he pulls out, it's like a fish slice. Uh, when he rides, his armor and uh, sword and the shield and stuff, that's just uh, some uh, rattling chains and some leather straps that someone's swinging. Uh, yeah, even the horse sound itself, you'd think that it was a real horse, but no, no, no. It's the same guy who's like flapping the straps. He's going. <laughs> stuff like that. So it's not even a real horse. So all the sound effects, all the Foley stuff, is all fake. So check that out as well. Google some videos on it and I might even feature some on a video on my own. A Lord of the Rings, flapping of a dragon's wing, a cheese grater on a string that they're swinging in the air. If you wanna support this channel and have a little shout out, and if you're watching the premiere, you can actually click the little super chat or the super sticker icon. And uh, I'll make sure to mention you in the next episode of 10 Minute Modeling Challenge. So we had Andreas Brillen said, Infensia, do you mean like this? And exactly Andreas, that's exactly what I mean. And here's your shout out. We also had Draco Socard, I can never say your name, but you like to hear it because you said, me, 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 I like to hear my name, lol. And then we have Lumania. You uh, said, uh, happy modeling ducks. No, dudes. <laughs> yeah. And Lumania is uh, a guy from Denmark and he's making a super cool uh, fireworks game that he's uh, hoping to release, I think, now before uh, the new year. So check that out. It's uh, like a low poly style, but really neat, uh, lush looking fireworks. And I actually recorded a few of the sound effects that he used. I don't know if he's still using those ones. Check out that channel. I'll put that in the description. Check out that game. And then we had Toot84, you said buy some Oreo cookies for the next stream, smiley face, thanks for all the nice content. And thank you for that comment and thanks for the donation because I actually bought myself some Oreo cookies and I'd like to show them, but I can't because I ate them and so did my kids and my wife. So we appreciate that, thanks a lot. All right, strap things on if that's what you do and uh, let's get started. I have no idea why I'm saying stuff like that. Okay. For cars, I've realized that the cavity setting isn't the best, even though I've got the merch, the cavity shirt here with the default cube, of course, I'm gonna start with the default cube, but I have to disable cavity for this one because it doesn't look so good for cars. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get it on. <laughs> I used to watch uh, UFC back in the day. So here we go, ready, steady, go, and we're off. Yes, and auto mirror as usual, tab into edit mode, scale Y, five, move it up. Scale Z, flatten it. And now we're gonna do loop cutting. Control R, loop cut one along here. And then side view again, Control R, let's put one here. Control R, put one there. Control R, Control R, there. And then one in the middle of each. Control R, Control R. And then we need one more loop cut, Control R, here. And I've said you shouldn't really use a box when you do uh, cars, but I've changed my mind now. I'm gonna use probably this all the time now. <laughs> So I to inset now and make sure you press B for boundary. So you connect it in the center there down below. And now we can do side view, double click A to deselect, B to box select just the side ones there, shift and deselect these now. And then E to extrude quite a bit to there. And now we've actually got a pretty cool topology here. Maybe I'll do 
alt select those bring that down slightly if i press period make sure i've got medium point here and i'll shift select a bunch of these now i might yeah the time is actually running scale y-axis to there select that one shift select these scale y to there i'll just do roughly the same and then shift select these and move them up slightly. And now we've got pretty good wheel arches. That the good thing about these wheel arches now is that you can they're real arches, real wheel arches. <laughs> so if I control and shift select a few of these, and then now we can bring this in and make those little wide things go in there. So we're gonna make a, a muscle car. I'll um, just come up with something on my own, but I think I'll uh, maybe like a Dodge Charger inspired front or something where it is a little bit aggressive. Well, maybe move this down to there bring this forward get a little bit of a mean look that should do it and then here in the back we can fix this in a second Control r and now i'll shift select these and here's the another trick now i to inset again with boundary like this so we get the center pretty good and then e to extrude this one now and it looks like a limo now so i'll have to fix it a little bit but s to scale e to extrude there and then now let's shape it into a bit of a rounder shape so just shift select those and we can bring this forward quite a bit now i think so i'll select these whole faces and bring that to there and this one even further Oop. and then move that down maybe to there and forward both maybe that's it and we're still on a quad topology here and uh, quite uh, should be quite good to work off now so let's shape this edge here. So how am I doing? 709. Bring that in and down a bit, the whole edge to there. Bring this up a bit. I'll wait with that actually. I uh, can select this, round this off a little bit to there. And maybe round this off slightly as well. So that's it. And it's a little bit too long probably. Box selected there and a bit too high bring it down and to there okay and this one we can change maybe as well some shape rotate there all right alt z to see that again and then uh, now we can do Control r do one more loop cut this is a nice thing now with uh, finally having a good topology sorry for leading you astray for a long time <laughs> but uh, this should work now hopefully now we can just extrude this uh, bonnet or hood, depending on where you live in the world. So I'll shift select a few of these and then just do E to extrude, S to scale this one down. Let's make it a bit aggressive, stylized again. Uh, it's not gonna be able to see out through that window, but that's okay. Looks pretty cool. Looks a bit mean. Okay, uh, that's it. Let's uh, see, 548, I'm wasting time here, precious time. We need to put uh, some lights on here, so let's do a headlight in here. A GG to move that onto the side. Actually, I'll do the whole GG to there. Let's put a headlight here. I to inset, E to extrude. And the grill, E to extrude. I to inset, E to extrude, and down. And then here, let's make some taillights. I to inset, E to extrude. And I to inset, and E to extrude that one as well. And then let's do, do a number plate so, to there. Colorize the car, A, select everything. Let's make a blue supercar. Is, that, is there such a thing? We can bring this down slightly, tweak this. Okay, and GG. GG slides it pretty good off these edges here. Let's put a wing on it as well. It's probably not very super, like a muscle car like, but I wanna have a wing on this one. So let's just do, let's wing it. We'll do E to extrude this whole thing, move it back, and then select these, I to inset, and delete to delete them. Faces, how am I doing? 435. Alt, shift, select these, and then right click on them and do bridge edge loops, and that's going to be the wing, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's colorize uh, taillights. They can be red, G on the left side there. Control plus, let's make a darker blue here, as if it was shaded. And then G, get a white number plate. And then headlights, I guess. Oh, what's happened here? I have no idea what's happened here. Let's hide it. This must have been selected. I have to fix this. Control plus, delete, faces. 
and delete faces. Oh, no, delete edges. I didn't expect this. Select a few of these, apparently. Delete edges. So, oh, I've got plenty of time or something. <laughs> G, uh, let's make it dark. And then here, G, orange. Okay, now we'll uh, make some bumpers as well. Uh, I'll select these a little bit, a bit over the top, probably. Uh, stylized as well. Alt E to extrude long face normals. S to scale. Bring them forward a bit. Control plus. Let's make them like a black color or something. Here as well. How am I doing? 320. Alt E, extrude long face normals. Move them back. Control plus. Do that one a bit gray, dark, blacky thing as well. Okay, now color. And uh, we'll do the wheel arches here. The real wheel arches. Wheel. Real wheel. Wheels on wheels. Real wheel. <laughs> Spare wheels. I don't know what I'm talking about. What's going on? Okay, I'm shift selecting a few of these, and I should have just done a different method, but that's okay. G to move that onto there. And then, oh, we need uh, maybe to make something that looks a little bit like Windows as well. Not like Windows 10 or anything, but like car windows. And I should probably bring GG slide that down as well. Let's try to color it, just to see if it works. So it could be refined a little bit, probably. G, let's make black windows. GG. And GG. Okay, this could have uh, probably been prepped a little bit better. Let's make... Uh, oh, make it blue again. Okay. Uh, maybe not the best rear window there, but I've got two minutes to go and I need to put some wheels on. So let's go side view, shift right click, shift A, cylinder. And let's do 12, scale, Z, and let's do... Uh, we have to disable clipping, I think. Move them into there. <laughs> Rotate Y, 90. Side view, scale them down to there. Rotate... Move them up again. <laughs> A scale zero on the left and G to move it to black. Move it out to there. We can fix this in a second. 128. So select that one. I to inset. E to extrude. Let's do simple wheels here. I to inset. E to extrude. S to scale. Control plus a few times to there. Let's come like a gray, like alloy rims. Shift select these. G to move to black so it looks like shadow and move them out. We can fix the wheel arches now a little bit overly aggressive here. So L, Shift D, move it to there. How am I doing? 56 seconds. Okay, here's the nice thing now with the wheel arches. We can uh, select these if I hit them. I just Shift select this. Control. Actually, I could just do Control R, of course. And then move this in and S to scale them a little bit. And then here, same thing. Control R, scale them and move them into there. And we can do, I've got 28 seconds here. Maybe I can get the rear view mirror. GG, E to extrude, R to rotate, G to move front. <laughs> okay, this looks uh, really weird. So Alt Z. We can fix, we can stylize it a little bit later on. So here. Rotate, E to extrude, R to rotate. One second, E to extrude, as the scale, I rotate it. Okay, so let's see what we got. Uh, so pardon the shape of the car, that didn't turn out that all that great, but uh, I think the topology is really good, and I guess uh, it's pretty good that it ended up with this uh, not so good, because now we can actually play a little bit in the bonus material and, uh, and show why this topology is pretty good. Uh, there are a few things that we could fix with it. Um, there's a few things down here that I did when I scaled it we can do. The whole shape is a little bit odd, uh, which we can fix all of this now. So here comes the bonus tips now. And I think uh, this is why you should stay to the end and not just uh, switch off now. Really stay to the end and watch this bit. Because if you have this shape and you wanted to start to refine this, either into a make it, let's say you wanted to change the front here, we could, uh, let's see, if I do proportional editing, and make sure connected only is on, so we don't want to scale the wheels now. And then I can do scale Z 
and then scale that up. Maybe use the mouse wheel to change that. Maybe I want to bring this down. G, Z, scroll the mouse wheel down, change it to there maybe. G to move that forward even more if you wanted it more aggressive. Maybe we wanted to change this whole thing a little bit. So maybe it's too long. So Alt Z, one, select these, move it in. Maybe here, move that in, make it shorter. Back is way too long here as well. So let's do control, move it to there, move this in, move that to there. And then Alt Z again here. Let's say we wanted to make this rear view mirror actually look a little bit nicer. We could do uh, E to extrude, S, oh, S to scale that one down. Maybe we'll bring these back and the bottom here to there. Colorize this black, G, black. Move that down to there, maybe. Oh, that was a bit too much. G. Okay, and here, the wheel arches as well. Here's, uh, I think this is probably the most important part that I'm uh, most happy with the whole build as well. It's uh, the fact that these wheel arches now can be really just selected like this. Usually I ended up with really weird edges right here. Um, so, but now, S to scale it if you want to make more room for the wheels. You could do O for proportional again. S to scale that on. S to scale it. Move it up if you want to do that. And same here in the back. If I do select this one, control select to here, all the way down to there. Let's do scale on this one. Move that in, maybe. And if you want to bring this in, Let's select these, move oh, oh, proportional off now maybe, bring those in, get this whole thing flaring out a little bit more. And if you wanted to change here, I noticed that the bonnet was a little bit too, started too far. So let's just slide that back. Maybe we can do either, so it goes like this. We can bring uh, this down. G, G. Bring this up, out. And if you want to change the look of the headlights, maybe you want this to be more like a teardrop. So front view, O, proportional, G, move that to maybe like this. S to scale it, G to move it. And uh, then we'll bring this down as well to there. We could control select the whole front there, maybe drag it forward to a little bit of a pointy nose. Also a bit over the top maybe. Like the film with Sylvester Stallone, over the top. That was a, dodge, a weird film, just out of the blue. Everyone was so hyped on Rambo and Rocky and stuff that they pretty much binged anything that uh, Sylvester Stallone pulled out of his uh, repertoire. <laughs> so. Maybe something like that. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to show this as well. I managed to mess up a little bit here. You can, uh, if you wanted to space these out, you could do GG, just move them apart a little bit here. GG to keep the quad. GG. GG. That's it. And you could work on uh, fixing the rear window that was a bit strange maybe we can move that forward a bit down so i'm not a car designer by the way so sorry for this <laughs> i should have probably used some sort of a blueprint the good thing about the 10 minute modeling challenge is that i can just blame it on the time frame so <laughs> and if you wanted to make the whole thing wider a select everything just move it wider that's it or control z if you didn't want to make it wider if you really want to go crazy, you can actually do that as well. And uh, check this out. Let's say we wanted to make a like a fun looking car. Not that this isn't fun looking, this is looking dodgy already, but let's go back with proportional now. Let's go crazy. Let's do G to move this one, scroll it up. Let's lean that one forward. 
let's pick that one g to move that on scroll it up sometimes i've seen these like cartoony uh looking cars so i wanted to try to make something a little bit similar r to rotate g to move that on let's go even crazier with the front here g r to rotate g that's this looks a bit strange maybe move that one let's do this whole thing g to move this wheel that up let's make it a lot wider here let's select control select to there g x control select to there g x and now you can even R to rotate. Let's do the same here. Control select to there. R to rotate. And then we have to do the same with the wheels then. So S to scale them up. And I think uh, when I see these funny pictures of these, they even do the crazy stuff when they draw them, like with the wheels. So let's bring G, X. And then here. Let's do the same thing here. L, scale it up. G, pick the bottom. G, X. And here we can just G to move this whole thing to make it fit. Like that. And I understand if you don't like this card, this is perfectly fine. I just wanted to make a point that you can make them uh, really like the cartoon stylized ones. Again, with the topology now, it should deform really nicely. Well, not that this is deforming that nicely, but uh, you, you get the point, I think, that you could make these uh, funky looking cars. And maybe we'll do uh, over the top here with a bonnet or the hood. Let's do uh, one of those intakes here as well. E to extrude. Bring this in. And bring that up even more. <laughs> G, Z. Oh no, G, Y. Uh, G, Z. That's what I want. I to inset. E to extrude. G. Okay. <clears throat> G. Proportional. Shift selector there, rotate. Yeah, you get the point. I've always thought that box modeling didn't really allow you to create a good car. And I've even seen tutorials from some established people to say that don't start from a box, start from, uh, from uh, splines instead. But the two key things here that I think really makes this work is when you do the wheel arches that you do with the inset with the boundary off. And also when you extrude the top of the car, that you also do an inset and then you extrude that inset. That's gonna be the key takeaway from this video that you can make car topology from box modeling and you can get it pretty good as well. And uh, you can keep those quad going. You don't really have to compromise on them anywhere. And uh, you'll always be able to do the loop cuts. It'll always deform nicely. I'm really, really happy that I found this method now because I've, it's been a bit, it's probably gonna be the, the holy grail for me <laughs> when it comes to modeling. Cause I always like to start with a box. I don't really like the spline modeling where you outline them. And I'm really, really happy that this uh, box method now works. And I'm super excited about the wheel arches because the loop cuts now will allow you to keep those arches coming out. And always when I've done trying to keep the quads when I do spine modeling, I always end up messing it up around those arches. So I hope you managed to take some stuff away from this as well. And I think I'm gonna do a proper tutorial on this topic as well. Maybe I don't have to stress the car to make it look uh, a little bit so, uh, so weird of a car. Maybe I can actually use uh, a blueprint so I make some real cars. How about that? <laughs> I'm gonna upload this to my Patreon page. So any, anyone on the tutorial tier, which is $2 at the moment, uh, anyone on that tier will be able to download this blend file, have a play with it, and all the other 40 whatever episodes that I've got, uh, those blend files will be added there as well. So head over to patreon.com slash if you want to give that a little bit of extra support, and hit the like button if you like the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to see you next week for another 10-minute modeling challenge.
bye for now.